this morning for our football frenzy tailgate. It is a cold start to the day. It's going to be a cold night for football, but we're ready for it. And when you tailgate, obviously there's food involved in that, right? And we do an amazing food drive. It has been amazing over these last seven weeks. We've gone to seven different pantries, and the operators at this one are no different in saying that the need is up from even last year. Community Affairs Director Casey Jones explains how this week's pantry relies on everyone to meet that need every day. It can be all different things in life. Every can. Families. Every box. A senior on a fixed income. Every bottle on the shelf is a reflection of a neighbor in need. It can be short term. Every piece on these shelves is part of a bigger picture. It can be long term. Every piece becomes love in action. But whichever one it is, they deserve to have a full belly when they go to sleep at night. And that's what we really try and do is make sure that no one goes without. Cheryl Youngquist has led Love in Action's food pantry with a heart for community. So David, how's it going back here? Again, a community working together is huge for the solution. We know that for about every $10 donated, about $100 of food is given out. Love in Action partners with 10 local pantries in the Tri-Cities, Spring Lake, Fruitport, and Ferrysburg. And we can do something like a central pantry where a group in our community can do a food drive and bring it here. And then it goes to whichever pantry needs it the most. Alone, they're feeding 250 families a month. Together, they're helping thousands in the community put food on the table. Something Grand Haven High School is familiar with. They operate two school pantries. As a person in this community, yeah. I knew of their pantry. And when I knew that we were be coming to Grand Haven High School, I couldn't come there, receive food, and not make sure that they had what they needed also. As soon as we pack those bags, our shelves are looking empty again. It's just nice to be able to have this um, huge amount of food that would be coming our way. That is love in action leading with community, piece by piece. So if we all do the piece we can, we can make sure no one goes hungry. For News 8, I'm Casey Jones, connecting with community. And the food pantry that's inside the high school here at Grand Haven, Donovan, is open to anyone who needs it. They don't have to qualify for free or reduced lunch. If there's a need, all they have to do is ask. Well, it's certainly making a difference, Teresa.